Hello guys, how do you transform your application from one tenant to multiple tenants with their own databases and even separate file systems using a single package? Often this is done by deploying the application to multiple servers, but that's hard and complicated as you need to update multiple servers with each change. But this package allows you to run everything as one Laravel project and then create multiple tenants with their own domains. Let's take a look at how it works. First, we need to install this package. You simply copy this to your terminal and run composer require. From there, you have a few changes you have to do. One is in our bootstrap app PHP file, where we add environment path, domain parameters, and add support for environment path domain params. But that's not all. We also have to replace the Eliminate Foundation application with the application provider from the package. Next, we have to go into our config app PHP file and register providers. These providers will handle the logic behind our domains. More on that later. Then we need to publish the configuration file. So let's do that in our terminal. Run the vendor publish, select the provider for our package and click enter. Once that is done, we will see that config domain will be published. In our case, it skipped because we already have that file. Now we are ready to add our domains. Type php artisan domain add tenant 123.test. As we can see, it was added. We can get back to our code editor and see that there's environment file created for our new tenant. And this is great. We have completed the setup and everything should be working. So last thing we need to do is go back to the terminal, write herd link tenant 23.test and type herd open to open the tenant. Once this is done, we can go into our dashboard and see that it's loaded. But here's one problem. We have used the same global application database. So let's change that to tenant 23 and save. Now let's head back to application and visit tenant13.test. This opens it and we can see that the database is not found. Why is that? Well, we just used a different environment file for our new tenant. So the database is obviously not created yet. For this, we go into our database tool and we create a new database schema. Let's add the same name and click OK. Once it is created, we can see that the database exists. Then we can go back to the site refresh the page and see that there is no tables found. To solve this, we need to run migrations. Typically, we would run PHP artisan migrate, but if we do that, there is nothing to migrate. And this is because the terminal commands by default use our main environment file. In order to use a specific tenant domain, we have to type PHP artisan migrate, add the domain and type tenant123.test. Now, as you can see, all the migrations have been successfully completed, but we need some seeded database data. So let's run seeder with the same tenant domain and we can see that it succeeded. Now let's get back to our application, refresh, and we can see that it's working. We should be able to log in with our example user and we see that it works. Now you can note that there is global application on the top. This is correct as again, we have to modify our environment file. So let's get back to the file and change the name to tenant123. Save it, get back to our website, refresh. We should be logged out because we changed environment configuration. So let's log in again. And now we can see that we have the newly set name. This allows us to have separate names and separate configuration for each of the tenant environments. Now let's do a simple check. Open the tasks and we should see that there are no tasks. Even if some of our tenants had some information created, there is none in this one because it uses separate database. Let's get back to our previously set two tenants. This example is clear. We have an amazing task getting tenancy out on tenant one, but in our global Laravel Inc, we only have my task. And if we create another one, task two, select a file and hit create, it will create another task, but it won't be saved to the first tenant. Now let's check how our storage is doing. We have tenant one, tenant two, and tenant one to three. Each of them have different data inside of them. There's no repeating, no shared access, nothing. This means that you can even put different AWS S3 configurations here and no files should get leaked in between your tenants. But wait, then the question rises, 
How do you process queues? For this example, we have a simple process test file that does a simple thing, just puts the file content as a random string and we can trigger it in our UI. Let's check it out. As we can see, we have status inactive, but on tenant one, both are completed. So let's create another one, task three, upload the file and we'll see another one that's inactive. Now, what's going on? Obviously, we haven't activated our queue workers, so that's one thing that will solve this issue. But if we go to our terminal and write PHP artisan queue work, nothing is happening. We can even trigger a job. It shows pending, but nothing happened. Why? Well, this is because we need to run our queue workers for each of our tenants. To do this, we have to once again add a domain parameter to our commands. And in this case, we want every single job from our tenant two to be processed. We click start and we can see that file was processed. If we get back to our UI, we can see that it's completed. Now it's not completed for our tenant one, but if we trigger a job, again, nothing happens. For this, we have to go back to our terminal, open a new tab, type PHP artisan domain tenant one test and we can see that the job has been completed this simple domain flag is available to every single php artisan command well most of them but remember how we talked about our providers specifically this this line allows us to get queue service queue service provider and any other providers to accept a specific parameter in here we're just simply replacing the official framework ones with a package one and honestly this is pretty much it we have a single application a single code base that can serve multiple tenants with their own file systems queue workers databases and that's great right well technically so there are some limitations for example if you want to run scheduler you have to launch multiple schedulers for each of your tenants this is because by default our scheduler will take the same environment configuration which is not necessarily the tenant configuration the same happens for our tools like queue workers you have to run them for each of your tenants and this can create a bit of a headache when you're trying to manage your server and infrastructure but it's nothing to be worried about i don't think that it's too hard to add for great functionality the last thing worth mentioning is if we run combined commands for example php artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed it will not trigger correctly the seeding command this is because it will only accept the domain to our main php artisan migrate fresh command but the seed command will not get called with the domain so you have to be really careful and call each command manually you can't use the combined commands that said this is a clever package that allows you to launch multiple applications become multi-tenant without really adding additional headaches about multiple servers multiple infrastructures and keep your costs down while still of course providing complete isolation between your clients finally you might ask is there any other options that do similar things and work in similar ways? And yes, there is. There is a package called Tenancy for Laravel, which does almost the same thing. But the key difference is that this package, Tenancy for Laravel, uses models to define tenants and store their configurations into your database. And this might not be a bad thing. Combine this with an extensive documentation and you have a pretty solid option so which is better well it depends but if you have to use any of these two it should be great for you and if you have used any of them please let us know in the comments and share your experience